Hey guys, just uh, finished making a mess. I mean, yeah, uh, stripping down a set of injectors. Um, we're going to keep a bit of private, pro bit of privacy. These are Matthews, Matthew W. It's up to you if you want to press lock or reply or whatever. Um, but these must have been, I'd say, out of an 09. Hang on, let me just have a look at the injectors. Give you a bit of info from what I can figure out. I haven't got any paperwork. I reckon these are out of an 09. And something different we've had um 2010 hiluxes with 07 built injectors and whatever but this is looks like an 09 i would say it is that's my guess and it's actually got 2009 built injectors in it the injectors are built in 2009 which is pretty cool because same year as the car now they're obviously pre-dlc because that didn't come in so a little bit of explaining just quickly this is just more of a to show you these command pistons and the difference in the coated and the non-coated ones not that you'll be able to see much we'll fire up a light here in a minute and um, try and get things happening for you but i'll just put that there for a minute and we'll just see if that made any difference and we'll zoom in on the command pistons actually that's what we'll do let's have a look and see and you can look at them while i'm dribbling on i'll move the light around a bit how's that eh look at all that mess um, yeah. so what I was trying to say, so 2009 built injectors, the nozzle, the solenoid valves will be DLC, the nozzle needles are DLC, they wear anyway. Um, but one of the really parts that matter is this command piston and the clearances there, I think it's like, I can't remember exactly if it's one or two microns, something like that, which sounds a bit silly really when your filtration system's sort of about five to eight micron. But anyway, that's where, you know, that's where you have problems. And obviously Toyota don't put finer filters there because they know it causes problems, which is why we don't recommend that because people that have those things, they're the people that contact us and end up having issues and, you know, stalling hard to start, that sort of thing. I don't know if it's going to do other damage long term with pumps and stuff like that. But anyway, that's another story. Um, like always, let's just have a look at these. I'm just going to give them a quick wipe. Just give them a bit of a, you know, so we can have a look and see what you can see. I'm gonna, one by one, I'll bring them in front of the camera, we'll see if this works out. I should be able to get pretty close if I get it in the right spot. I don't know if that's gonna focus actually in the right spot or something, or trying a bit of natural light there. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna work out. Can't really see, can you? So we'll go back to plan, eh? Put it on the bench and we'll see what happens. All right, put that one there. Let's give them all a wipe. You can actually see the wear, and my point is, if you can see the wear, it's bigger than one or two microns and things aren't going to be working right and this doesn't show up in diagnostics i can see the wear on these myself like sitting there on the bench even with the oil the fuel or you know the oil the fuel whatever these are absolutely trashed i would have to take a guess that these have done a lot of work um, but i could be wrong because sometimes you know you see at a hundred thousand k's i can see a lot of this wear these actually look cooked okay so this is a good example. That's why when I pulled them apart, I went, oh, I reckon we're going to see something with these. So what we're going to do is we'll leave those there for now. We'll spin the light around and try and see if that helps you see anything, right? Can you see that? I don't know if you can. Particularly on these two at the moment, you can see them. See that rough area? All right. I'm just moving the light around. I don't know what's best. Nat you know, out in natural light's probably the best, but that's a bit hard to do as well, isn't it? So, take my word for it. They're absolutely trash, and they're not going to be working right when they're like that. Um, so, it's an obvious upgrade. Anyone, I've said this before, anyone with older injectors, I mean, definitely all the 120s and old high lockers should be done, but even getting into the 150s, it's 2020 now, okay? 2020. Yeah, it's happened quick, hasn't it? Where did... So 2005, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all that stuff. All those, mate, I don't care how many cases they've done. They all need injectors, okay? These are all worn. Short trips are the worst thing for them. Long trips, you're going to get higher Ks. Um, the average thing, like we say, you know, the, the 170K thing, these things, probably 150 or less is where I'd be uh, recommending replacing those. I'll put the light over there. That might help. Um, just look at all that wear on those command pistons. Particularly... I've got to say, it's the closest to, to us, right? The ones, the one at the back, it's got a bit more wear down that bottom end there, but these, they're totally trashed up there. And like I said, I'll just move the light around. I'll roll those and I'll move the light into different places. 
because I'm not really sure on the on the screen what you're going to see. Right. I'll try and bring them up into the picture again. Let's try that. Don't know if it's going to work. But what have you got? You got something better to do? <coughs> <laughs> Obviously not if you... Okay, that might be better. Try and get some light. Too much. Where's the uh, photographers here? Okay, there you go. That's not bad. I don't see that where you can see them. I'm just twisting them so you can see around each of them. I don't see that where you can see with your eye on a camera. That is totally trashed. Right? One micron, that's like one thousandth of a millimeter. You know, millimeters a millimeter. One thousandth. So when you slide these in and out of the injectors, you can actually feel the resistance. That's how tight they are. So they're kind of like a tight fit. They're almost an interference fit at, I think, one or two micron. I don't know if it's one each side, so two in total or something like that. Um, and it probably varies from injector to injector, whether it's Denso and other brands. But tight clearances is the whole point. And they get worn. And the DLC, it's got less friction. It's a lot harder. They just last better for longer. They're going to work right. It's things like this is what's causing your problems, mate. Just get your injectors working in peak. There you go. You can see it a bit there. So if you hung around, you got to see more because eventually we get to the right spot so you can see that. That's why we want to replace those injectors anyway. It's not just that, but that's one of the key reasons. So what I was get, going towards was um, anyone with a 2000 and say 150 Pratos or Hiluxes for example that are around 09, 10, 11 with these injectors are a lot better and they don't show you a lot in diagnostics you're going to think you never need to replace the injectors I've said that before in other videos um, what am I trying to say here it's a no-brainer that you upgrade to full DLC I've said this for years you should have already done this but I know people that haven't Right, fair enough, each to their own. I'll just give you advice, doesn't bother me what you do or not, but I'll be upgrading to full DLC injectors. And now they came out, manufacturing was happening in 2010, so early 2010, there were some full DLCs, late 2010, there were some that not full DLC. We're talking injector manufacturing, not vehicle. Vehicles, it varies, mate. There's gonna be some vehicles in 2011, late 11, that have got DLC, not many. There's gonna be more in 2012. But not necessarily all. By about 2013, fairly safe to say most vehicles are going to have full DLC injectors. So, look, it's up to you what you want to do. I just, you know, give you the advice from what we see. The other reason, those seats there you can see, um, they don't last forever, you know. They deteriorate, they need to be changed. Best recommendation is either side of the 150. If it's done higher Ks, you can push them out a little bit further around 160, 170, 180, 190. That's why the best balance of replacing injectors and seats and doing this job is about every 170, right? And more by kilometers, sorry, more, but probably seven years, more by years is what I'm saying, trying to say, more by years than kilometers. Because the kilometers, well, it can be low Ks and they still need doing it. It can be high Ks and, you know, into the 200s. Where you get risky is with your seats, but like I said, if it's highway Ks, they're going to last longer anyway, because it's the heating and cooling where they move around, right? That's doing a lot of the damage, we believe, right? Heating, cooling, heating, cooling, you know, they're copper. They go onto alloy, that's the head. The, the other end's the injector, that's steel. You know, you've got three different materials heating up at different rates, so you get movement. That's part of what damages the washers, we believe, and, you know, they erode away in the middle just from the heat of combustion, etc. So, anyway... There's your guide, there's some more information. Don't know where I'm putting this video yet. It was just, I wanted to show you those command pistons. I can't believe I'm still seeing them, you know what I mean? These things, if you've got old injectors, just get them out, it's not worth it. Keep it running clean, efficient, reliable, responsive. All these words that people send back to me once they've had their injectors replaced, usually obviously with us, the people we recommend or the DIY thing, if you're doing it yourself, that's fine. That's why we're here to support you with that, with a VIP group and the videos on how to do it. So if you need injectors, you know the deal. Give us a call if you need an injector kit and we've got the comprehensive kit with everything in there you need. Injectors, pipes, all the seals and gaskets, inlet gaskets, lots of bits and pieces. You'll see that in other videos, so we're not going to go on about that. I just want to point out, these are 2009, it's 2020, 11 years. Too long in my opinion, but anyway, so far so good. But sometimes when they've been left in too long, it's only a short time afterwards where someone ends up with a cracked piston, so there's always a higher risk of that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If it ends up on YouTube and you haven't already, hit the subscribe button because there's heaps more information coming your way.
So yeah.